All right, after uh, having all the girls, uh, all our females dozed together through the summer, it's time, it's that time of year to do the goat breeding time. We got them all lined up tied to the uh, tied to the uh, fences or a shed or something. Gracie, she's not feeling well. Uh, while I moved to the sheds, you can see the shed one and two here. They've been moved over to where Shakespeare is our young buck so we're planning on uh, getting going on the move one note rocky uh rocky had an injury on his leg if you've been following the blog and he uh shakespeare beat him up and uh, messed up his leg some more so we just brought him over here with uh, all the females and he's been doing pretty well at least he can get around and stuff hopefully he'll be able to do his job his, uh his job is the uh buck for the for the billy for the uh for the younger crew of uh, does here, so so we'll take you along for the move ride and Shakespeare being introduced back to uh, to his crew for the winter. All right, and here's uh, here's Shakespeare. We got him uh, tied up, holding the back while we moved the sheds, and uh, he's been ready for months now. It's probably why he beat up uh, Rocky a little bit. So we got him ready. And we're about ready to start bringing the, the, uh, his does over. All right, here's our first contestant. This is Annie. Let's see. We're just going to tie him up uh, temporarily on the, on the fence here while we, uh, while we bring them all over and then let them all go. All right. Continue on. All right, I'm back here with, the, uh, with all the does. And we got the... Uh, this is Hannah. We got the, we're doing the goat cam. Thought this would be more interesting. <laughs> I thought she might run, but she's not. So she's taking her time. Here's the uh, view of the goat. <laughs> All right, come along. And here's uh, here's Pammy behind. And only one more after this. Uh, here, here's a little more goat cam. Picked up the pace a little bit. Come on, I'm gonna tie you up over here, okay? And you sit there for a minute, Houdini. She gets off her leads really easily. Hopefully, she won't right now. And Pammy, one more. Sorry about the wind. And here's Houdini Hannah, like I said. She got off her uh she got off her lead. This is what she does. So alright, we're all over here. So now it's time for the introductions. Alright. Time we're gonna let the uh let the girls off. So their lead. I'm gonna let Shakespeare off his. Well, he's been waiting for for some time. Alright, Hoss, hold on. Here he goes. What are you doing? Here we go. Oh boy. The tongue hanging out always cracks me up. That's nice, Shakespeare. That's really nice. Do the funny face right after that. There it is. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> nice, Shakespeare. That's really nice. Oh my goodness. Okay. Females are just hungry. Oh boy. Nice. This is what 
goats do though, you know. It's what they do. Shakespeare. Look at me, your highness. Yeah. See his horns is uh, healed up pretty nicely. Or when we cut them off, thank the Lord. No, it doesn't look like anyone's in, uh, too interested right now, other than him. But, uh, and then there's Hannah. She's in a uh, world all her, all her own. Just, she's, I'm hungry, I'm going to go eat. Y'all do your thing. I think I'm running out of uh, camera memory. I'm going to have to stop for now. And uh, we'll continue on uh, in a little bit. Lord willing. Alright, now we're back over here with the young ones. We're going to let them all off the uh, hook. Nothing too new for them and not much going on because he's been here with them. He's been interested. Hopefully he can get the job done, Rocky. Pray the Lord grant him strength and the ability to do that with warbly legs. He's definitely interested, though. He may have gotten some of the uh, older ones that we don't know. We're mark, trying to mark it all down in case he did. Anyway, we're just going to let them all off the, off the hook and let them on to their breeding time. These guys for 2017 and 18. Lord willing, Rocky will be able to do the job and uh, we'll have the... Um, Nelly's in heat, actually, and uh, Rocky be able to do the job, and uh, and the Lord might grant a kid crop for next year, if he might, and we're very grateful. So we pray for the offspring in the in the spring from these guys. All right, and we're back over here. Shakespeare's been howling ever since Rocky left. And uh, I blame him for beating him up. But every time the dogs aren't there or we leave, he's yelping away. Now he's got some companions for the winter. Lord willing, he'll be able to do the job too. And the, pray the Lord grant a kid crop for next year, if he might. And we're thankful for this opportunity and the provisions and resources to be able to raise the goats so we can have milk, which is really why we do it. There's the healthy benefits of it. We're very grateful. Thank the Lord. <laughs>